fuck up boy Mais c'est que tu aimes, j'aime ça J'aime ça Mais si tu ne touches pas, je ne touche pas Hey, what's up beautiful people? My name is Daddy J and I'm back again with another amazing and a very superb video so guys, on today's video, I want to tell you the top 5 things I love about living in China as a foreigner. So, I did a video about the top 5 things I dislike about living in China. You can check it. On, I'm going to put a link on my description box. So, today we're going to talk about the 5 things I love. And before we write on, please kindly rush to the subscribe button and subscribe if you haven't. And if you're a returning subscriber, I say thank you for always being here. So these are the top five things I love about living in China. So guys, the first thing I love about living in China is actually the food. Like there is a wide range of food variety here in China. So if you're a food lover, then you definitely love China. And the food is actually very, very cheap, very affordable in China. China is quite cheap. Like I'm in a Chinese restaurant now. I'm in a local restaurant here in my quarter. So. I came to have this is fried rice we call it the uh, chow fan it is mostly known as chow fan here in china it's very very popular it's a mixture of um, rice and egg with green spices and all so food is actually very very cheap like if you want to buy even raw food you go you take your 100 RMB. you see you can buy food that can take you for two weeks some people who don't often leave like cook in your home it can take them even for one month like food is absolutely very very cheap in china there is all kind of vegetables there is uh, uh, uh seafood there is meat in fact there is def uh, approximately everything here in china let's forget about the odd the odd kind of food that we all believe that the chinese people eat but if you want to go into details seriously there is much varieties of food here in China you can see like I would advise most people who wants to come to China that if you come in don't really bother about food because there is much to eat rice is almost free in China like if you go to a Chinese restaurant you buy food rice is free there is a pot there they keep for rice like when you're eating, you can just buy the thing you want to eat with the rice, maybe fish, vegetable, or anything. Then the rice is free, you go and put, you eat. If it's finished, you still go and put again. You can eat to your satisfaction. So food is actually very, very free in China. So guys, don't be afraid to come to China that I'm not gonna eat Chinese food. No, the ones we see on televisions and all are those ones, the, are the bad kind of food that they eat that always go viral and I believe each and everyone in their own respective community they have a kind of food that they eat and people will see and somebody will say oh I cannot eat this you know even in our various countries there are some places that eat insects there are some places that eat a kind of food that another place or another person from another place is gonna see and say no I cannot eat this so outside the bad things like the bad the rats the frogs that the chinese eat there are also a lot of food varieties here in china the second thing i love about living in china is actually the transportation means like the transportation means is very very affordable and convenient here in china we have electric bikes we have that which uses battery you just need to scan the qr code and then the bike is gonna open it's reserved for the entire public you just ride and go to wheresoever you're going when you reach your destination you pack it beside and then you so like i said i love the chinese apps i'm just gonna use alipay now and scan this qr code and this bike is gonna open for me to ride when i reach to my destination i'm gonna close it then so you can see like here i've scanned the bike and I'm just gonna click there and then so I'm just gonna open the bike is opening percentage loading and it's open yeah so I'm just gonna climb now and then right we also have buses which are very very cheap you can pay just one RMB in the bus and then you can ride the whole city the whole day just for one RMB so it's actually very very cheap 
and also we have subways which are affordable we have trains we have intercity flights so china is very very convenient when it comes to its means of transportation i really really enjoy that aspect of china as a foreigner so if you come into china know that you're not gonna spend so much money as far as transportation is concerned yeah guys so the next thing i love about living in china is the chinese apps like guys these apps are really really wonderful they are excellent and the first app i'm gonna make mention of here is wechat like wechat is our communication app here in china but it doesn't limit itself only with communication like wechat has many many functions it is connected with your bank card you can buy anything you want to do here in china you use your wechat to pay like you want to ride a bike you use your wechat you want to pay a taxi you use your wechat you want to buy in a supermarket you use your wechat you want to pay your school fees you use your wechat like wechat is just so good guys you can book your flight in wechat you can buy your train ticket on wechat you can like order food on wechat i mean this app is really really good there are many functions that i cannot really mention on wechat that i don't even know how to use but which app is so so good and another app is alipay alipay is an app similar to wechat but it's so good you know it has also a communication function it is also connected to your bank card that you can use to buy things and so on so but wechat is more popular than alipay though in some places you can go to some shops if you want to buy they tell you that they don't accept wechat pay they accept what alichat pay which you can use alipay to pay so alipay is so so good here in china oh my god and then another app i love using here in china is taobao so taobao is um a market app like you can buy online in fact everything you want in this life you can find it on taobao like if you need something you can just send me a picture and then i go to taobao it shows me a lot of the same product so on taobao you just buy the goods meet you right to your destination so it's really really good to use taobao here in china another app which is also good here in china it's similar to taobao is pindodo pindodo is also very very nice like you use pindodo here in china to order kind of goods pindodo is cheaper than than taobao but sometimes you find some fake products in pindodo and all so if you are in china you definitely enjoy these apps another app i love using in china is dd hmm, god dd is just like it's an app you can order an uber I can just sit in my house now i just call it dd just using my phone and it will not make up to one minute the car will be waiting for me down there and then i'm just gonna enter we take a ride and go to where i'm going and it's very comfortable like you sit in the car see if you are the owner of the car so dd is quite good here in china so guys the next thing i love about living in china is wi-fi i mean like wi-fi is basically free here in china like in my house i pay just about 50 RMB per month that is quite cheap and you can go anywhere around the town you definitely have wi-fi if you want to go to the shop you have wi-fi there you go to the supermarket you walk in the street you capture wi-fi in fact everywhere there is wi-fi here in china when you go to the restaurant if you buy a food you want to pay you can just ask the wi-fi guys okay, like basically wi-fi is almost everywhere just like okay let me ask this lady in this shop like if she gets wi-fi you know so it's quite free where in her uh ching wen your wi-fi jelly ma how the hell you see she has wi-fi you know so i'm gonna use it now free so wi-fi is basically free here in china those who are living in china they can really testify this video that wi-fi is one of the best things that most foreigners do enjoy here in china so if you are like working on the internet if you have many things to do in the internet then don't bother about you spending much money for the internet internet is basically almost free here in china yo guys so the last thing i love about living in china it's actually a summary of all these things i've made mention 
which I'm gonna categorize it to the living cost. Yeah, the standard of living in China is very, very low. I have showed you the transportation means, how cheap it is, the food, very affordable, the Wi-Fi, the everything. So automatically the standard of living in China is very, very low. So when you come into China as a foreigner, know that the standard of living is not high as compared to many Western countries and all. So you can really, really make a good life here in China. And if you're a good saver, then you can definitely save huge amount of income. So guys, I want to thank you for watching this video till the end. And I really do appreciate you. So if you haven't subscribed, please kindly subscribe to join this family so that the family can grow. So I'm gonna see you in my next video. Shalom.